It's almost inevitable. Almost every single night it happens. We tell our children, it's time to get ready for bed, and we get the whole, what? No! Yeah, it's time for bed. Go brush your teeth, hop up in your beds. Can't we just stay up a little longer? No. Ugh, fine. And yet, every single night, a few minutes later, it's almost inevitable, like clockwork, I look up, and there is my eight-year-old daughter with big old puppy dog eyes. Daddy, can we please snuggle? Okay, fine. And sure enough, before I know it, there she is ten minutes later asleep on my lap. Now why in all the world would she do this? Why would I do this and, and change something that I said? Well, it's really very simple. One thing, love. My daughter knows that I love her so much and she can be bold and she can be confident and she can even beg sometimes. And I love her so much that, that sometimes, okay, almost all the time, plans will even change. When was the last time you were like this with God? Have you begged and pleaded with the Lord before? It's actually okay for you to do this. I want you to think about Abraham for a moment. Abraham was told by God that the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah had incredible wickedness. And God said that he was going to destroy the cities the next day. So here's Abraham and he boldly goes to the Lord and he begs, Lord, please, if there are 50 righteous people, 50 believers in Sodom, will you please spare the city? And God says, okay, fine, I'll spare it. But then Abraham comes right back to God and says, Lord, I, I'm being bold here, but would you spare the city for 45? And God says, fine, I'll spare it. But he keeps coming back. Well, what about 40, Lord? What about 30? What about 20? And every time God says, fine, I'll spare the city. Until finally, Abraham comes back one last time and says, Lord, please, don't, don't be angry, but I'm going to plead Will you spare the city if there are 10 believers, 10 righteous people? And God says, fine, I'll do it. Now, why would God allow this? Even though God knew what was going to finally happen because he knows everything, why would God allow Abraham to do this? Why would Abraham be so bold as to play, let's make a deal with God? Well, one simple reason. It's love. Abraham knew that he had a dear father in heaven who loved him and treats him like his own dear child. And because God loved Abraham so much as his dear child, he was willing to even change his plans. Although, of course, God knew what was going to happen in the long run. This is how your prayer life could and even should look. It's okay to beg and plead with God. Go ahead, wrestle with God in prayer. Plead with him for mercy, for love, for strength, for wisdom. You're not bothering God. You're trusting in him. God is your dear Heavenly Father and you are his dear child. So go ahead, be bold, be confident, wrestle with God in prayer just like Abraham because you know God loves you and God will listen. Hey, it's Pastor Mike. Thanks so much for listening. Uh, if you enjoy this message and have friends that you think will enjoy it too, would you take just a moment and share it with them? Sharing not only helps this podcast gets discovered, it also helps tons of other people learn about the unconditional love and the general awesomeness of Jesus. <laughs> Thanks for taking the time. Thanks for sharing this message and have an amazing day.